Hi, my name is Boris and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Groove and Swing in Ableton Live 12. We'll go through what Swing actually does and I'll show you how to apply it to a very simple lo-fi house beat. Before we get into the video, if you like what we are doing on this channel, make sure to subscribe. We've got more content about Ableton coming up. If you'd like to learn Ableton 12 with all the foundations of music production, check out our Beginner to Advanced Live 12 Start to Finish course and make sure to also check the Everything Bundle Collector's Edition, which includes all of the courses, sound packs and and project files in our store. And to see all of that, check the links in the video description. All right, so let's get started. All right, so here we have the original loop. It's part of the track that Misk Inc. is making in his Lo-Fi House course, which is also available in our store. And let me just quickly play you this fragment. All right, so instead of this whole drum bus, which as you can hear is quite busy, we've got a bunch of tracks that would require some time for us to create, especially this loop right here. We are going to be just using the Core 909 kit in Ableton, which is a very popular house and techno drum machine, the TR909 from Roland, and we're going to be just creating this simple pattern. And along with our instruments. All right, so let's just start simple. I'm just going to copy this uh, instrument loop over here. All right, so I'm just going to create a two bar MIDI clip on the 909 track, just shift control M or shift command M on Mac. And what opened is just a blank MIDI clip. Let's preview the samples we have. So this is the bass drum. We have a rim shot and then a snare, a hand clap, a closed hat and an open hat. So to make things simple, I'm just going to change the grid maybe to just a quarter notes, press B, and I'm just going to lay down the bass drums. Every other bass drum, I'm just going to add a hand clap. And then let's change the grid to eighth notes and I'm just going to add hi-hats in the offbeat positions. Maybe even copy this fragment. I'm just selecting and pressing Command or Control and D. So here's what we have. All right, and then I'm also going to be playing closed hats. But here let's choose 16th notes. And I'm just going to be playing them like this. And every four repeats, I'm just going to add another hi-hat. Now let's just extend this loop to cover the entire instrument pattern. And let's listen. All right, so it's quite simple, but there is something missing and uh, this sort of groovy element when we compare this to this one. Let's listen once again. And Here's what's going on. In this track, we have Groove applied. So let me quickly show you how Groove is created. So I'm just going to create a brand new track right here. And I'm just going to add 16th notes on the closed hi-hat. So, by the way, on the hi-hat, we have expression control, which just changes the decay so that it's a bit more interesting sounding. 
but that's just purely random. Okay, so what Groove does, so it takes every second closed hat and nudges it to the right. So I'm just going to select every second hi-hat. Maybe actually let's just keep it one bar. So I'm just going to select every other hi-hat and nudge it to the right. And we are going to hear the difference it makes. And for this purpose, I'll also disable the expression control so we have the same decay every time. So, I hope you can hear what it's doing. If we delay the second hat just a bit, it starts to groove. So, let's give it once again a listen. All right, so this is what we need over here. We can just select our closed hat and manually even nudge it to the right by just choosing, by just hovering over. If I click on this key, we select this hi-hat and this is the only one that we are playing in the 16th note grid. So if we just offset it to the right, This can be applied in different ways. So if we go back, we can also sort of automate this. If you have a more complex pattern and it's not only the hi-hat you need to apply to, there are different ways of achieving this. So most popular would be, let's just choose uh, a groove. And I'm just going to remove these grooves from here. Uh, first of all, if you don't have this groove box sort of visible, you just need to go to View and Groove Pool or press Ctrl Alt 6, I believe Command Alt 6 on Mac. And now the Groove Pool appears over here. So this is where we can drop our grooves. And grooves are just different variations of the amount of this offset. That's what we could briefly describe it as. So if we take a look under grooves, you can choose, first of all, between 8th swing and 16th swing. And for most cases in techno and house, we're going to be choosing 16th swing. And if we scroll down over here, we get these really basic 16th swings. So starting from this, this is barely there. But then if we increase it, so 59, All right, so choosing something around 65, 68 gives us this really noticeable swing. So let's throw that into the groove pool. And what we can do now is if we go back to our clip, we can hover our mouse over this groove section, click the drop down menu and choose the new swing. Make sure, by the way, that the global amount in the groove pool is set to 100%. Because if you have it at zero, you're not going to apply any swing to any of the tracks. So let's preview what's going on here. I'm going to first play it without and then with the swing. All right, I hope you could hear what it's doing. I'm also going to apply this groove to this track. All you need to do is just click this little arrow right here. And as you can see, our hats are offset just by a bit. So now we've kind of printed this groove onto this MIDI clip. Okay, but you could say we could have achieved this also just with simple tweaking or offsetting the notes. So let me show you where the groove pool becomes really powerful. So not only can you just apply a certain amount of groove over here from the grooves tab, but you can also change the amount of it. So if we lower down the timing, we get effectively no groove. And this can be a sort of dry wet control where the more timing you add, the more groove is going to actually be applied. So what I like to do is often I'll take a sort of exaggerated groove and I'll just tone it down by dragging down the timing to get the sweet spot. So I will just be listening in and tweaking the timing. Mm, 
Now, another thing you could add is random, and this is just going to add a random offset to these notes. Now, this can sound a bit chaotic, but in low amounts, especially if you have like an acoustic kit, this can sound really realistic. Then what you can also add is a bit of velocity adjustment, and we can now print it once again. And now we have a bit more of an elaborate swing applied. Now, other than swing, we also had this expression control, so we can enable it now. And also we could switch to the envelopes tab, select the frequency of the filter of the low pass on this hat. Maybe we can just tweak around and open up these hats and just do, for example, this kind of curve and copy it over to the second half. All right, and the final tweak we could add is just consolidating this clip and just adding a few fills. And perhaps we can even copy these fills from this previous track. So we have this rim shot and the snare drum at the end. So if we copy it over, it looks like this. Only we have to offset this to the end. All right, I hope you found some of these groove techniques useful. This is a really, really important part of electronic music and of all other genres, really. And I hope you have a lot of fun experimenting with different grooves and that this is going to add more life into your drum patterns. Make sure to check out our Music Production Academy with lots of start to finish courses on making tracks in various genres. And if you'd like to learn Ableton 12 with all the foundations of music production, check out the Beginner to Advanced Live 12 start to finish course. Make sure to also check out the Everything Bundle Collector's Edition, which includes all of the courses, sound packs and project files in our store. And to see all of that, check the links in the video description. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like, write us a comment and I will see you in the next ones.